This screencast will show you how to add an image into code.org. So after you have an image saved, like that ice cream image, we go into um, our web page builder, which can be found at the end of almost every lesson. So lesson six, step eight, you can find, or, or um, excuse me, work on your website. So to add an image, I'm going to go to add image and I'm going to click on upload file. And from here, I need to find that ice cream picture, which I think I saved it in a different place. So just find it, ice cream, open it. Now it worked. Um, if your file does not work, it is because it is a JFIF file and code.org cannot open those. So you will need to find another picture to use. I'm going to click on X. Now the file is over here. I have a lot more files than you probably do. This might happen. That's fine. If I click on ice cream JPG, you can see my um, image here. To get it inserted into, I'm going to minimize my instructions. To get it inserted into the code, okay, to get it to go into the code, let's say I want to add it at the end of my page. I'm going to go all the way to the end here. Oh, hold on one second. Okay, so I want to type in my tag or my code for my image. I have to do this from memory. I think it's IMG. SRC equals here I need to select the picture file. I can type it but this comes up so I'm just going to click on it. I do my alt text alternate text equals I think it was a bowl of chocolate ice cream bowl of chocolate ice cream end quote and then I have to do backslash and then you should see my picture at the bottom doesn't come up, let's refresh and save. Yep, there it is. So that is how to add the picture into your website. Next, I'll show you how to add the attribution.